When I first started out as a young athlete, I didn't see any of the girls that looked like me. Growing up, I never saw images of myself in an aspirational, luxurious way. When we're talking about skincare, we are often kind of underrepresented. Most of my family have a darker complexion like myself. Dark skin is beautiful. They've always shown me confidence. I've just embraced who I am. Growing up, it was really difficult to be the black one. I think for me, one of my challenges was I was actually born with a birthmark on my leg. I thought of my skin as a curse. And I used to spend time trying to scrub this birthmark away. I've just grown to love it and just embrace what you have. The best advice I've been given about caring for my skin has come from my Trinidadian mum, which is moisturise, 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 and then moisturise. My parents would always make sure I had the shiny face and shiny arms when going to school. It wasn't a debate. I always had to moisturise my skin. Our skin loves it. <laughs> wow, what would I say to my younger self? Be proud, hold your head up high. Your skin is powerful and it has a history behind it. And it's important to celebrate yourself and champion you. It takes a little time, but once you come to that place, there's nothing like it. Look at me now. <laughs> Every night I have a Mariah Carey bath with full candles. Put on some music. Oh, it smells so good. That 20 minutes of rubbing my body down. Look at ourselves from all angles, see what we're working with, jiggle it a little bit, do what you want. I want to eat it. <laughs> if I was to describe my skin in three words, it would have to be strong. Chocolate. Hydrated. Fun. Juicy. Desirable. <laughs> Sorry, that was really cheeky. Hot. <laughs> <laughs>